Hello, this is Sir Aaron Carter, and you are listening to The Weekend Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? I'll tell you what I'm reacting to. It's the PS4, people. We opened it up to Twitter on what we were going to talk about today, and you all voted to talk about the exclusive titles coming to the PS4 and which ones you should be playing. Of course, we've got to give a shout out to the Facebook, facebook.com backslash video game bang bang. And check us out on Twitter at video game bang. We appreciate all the love we've been getting from you all on Twitter and the Twitikus uh, people. Wow. Joining us on the show this week, we have Jerry PaneriCon, and as always, my best friend, uh, the guy I want to be just like, Corey Vincent, and Madison Mata joins us back on the show. Uh, she has a baby in her, and we're going to be talking a lot about that. Um, the music's dying out. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the show. All that and much, much more on this week's... Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang, Bang. your weekly source for all things video game, featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. It's when ish gets real. I don't get shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items at my, at my job, he can play the right now. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. The thirst is real, everybody. What? The, yep, the thirst is real. I don't know if you said that loud enough. I've said that extremely loud because the thirst is extremely real. Mm. Welcome to the Weekend Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? Mm. And I'm reacting to everything. I'm reacting to Twitter, actually. Twitter's been on fire. Like, heat. Yeah. <laughs> Flames. Thanks to anybody who's been contributing to Video Game Bang on Twitter, first off, because it's been an awesome few days. We had a tur- uh, not a tournament. Yeah, we had a tournament. Uh, we, had a give- yeah. we had a tournament, right, tournament on tournament online. If you guys missed it. <laughs> uh, no, we had a giveaway, and it was, it was heated. Uh, we talked about it on the last show, where if you were the last per- person to tweet us when the game ended, you were going to win the Ultra Arcade prize pack. And a fellow named Eric, Operation Eric, at Operation Eric on Twitter won. Yeah. And it was awesome, dude, because there was like three people going at it hardcore for like three days. And they were tweeting us and tweeting us funny pictures. I mean, it was, it was yeah, awesome. Yeah, the things that you guys tweeted out there, amazing. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Uh, some new fans, along with some seasoned veterans, were all getting in on the action. And then mm-hmm. the guy who won only sent two tweets in the last like three days. And I told Aaron before, I was like, I'm going to keep this completely honest. I'm going to message you with the exact time I'm going to stop this. And I was going to tweet that, actually, too, after. I was going to, like, take a screen capture on my phone so people can see, time-stamped and everything. Yeah, he said this time. He said he was going to do it that time. Boom. Yeah, because Steven alluded that I'm some shifty character that was going to try and (laughs) cheat the fans. No, I had a legitimate time. 11.37 in the a.m. was the time I set. And a guy, Operation Eric won. Congratulations. But... Because it was so awesome, we're going to be sending prizes out to the second and third place winners, as well as an awesome dude who actually drew us a picture of our logo. Yeah. And so we're going to send him a prize, too. Dude is awesome for uh, that whole thing. I hope you're not a 32-year-old man in your underwear on your computer. (laughs) Uh, He said he'd rather send us that than a picture of his balls, so I appreciate it. Well, yeah. And then, (laughs) first of all, because if he is that little kid, that's child pornography. That's awesome. We don't need that coming this way at all. Yeah. If Um, you do decide to do that, make sure it's at... No. (laughs) No. No. Jerry Paneri comes. Let's do some intros here. Uh, you heard him already. He's been talking about Twitter's being on fire. It's Corey Vincent, everybody. Hey, what's up, pizzas? How y'all doing? Wow. That's Is okay. that no, too white? Did uh, I let the white come out too you much? You always let the white come out. Coming oh, wow. back from a long hiatus. That's what your mother said. <laughs> and sneaking in another person on the show, Madison Mata, everybody. Hey, Hi. welcome back, Madison. Actually, while we have Madison, I always wanted to do this. Hold on. What is he? He's Wait, whoa! He's whoa, making it rain. Whoa! whoa making do I get it to rain. Keep this? <laughs> wow, that's a lot of money. That is whoa. a lot of money. Whoa. And I just want to tell her thank you. Oh, thank you. I don't know what that transaction's I, for. I, I, Worth every penny. Uh, <laughs> actually, um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I wish we had the cam in here so we can show that. Yeah. <laughs> I made oh, it rain about money. sixty dollars all over. Oh my goodness! That's kind of sprinkling. There's a lot more than sixty. Here, Besides though. the, uh, uh, of course, pregnancy. Which we heard about on the 
Christmas show. What have you been up to, Madison? Oh my gosh, so much stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. She's like, so many things. World of Warcraft. So many <laughs> things. World of Warcraft. Um, I don't know where do I start. Uh, last time I was on the show was ages ago. So it was a Christmas then, show. It was Christmas. No. Oh Before well, yeah, yeah, the Christmas show. And Before real the Christmas show. show. The real show. Oh uh, okay. Um, I was working at PAX. East. I was working Ooh. at E3, as I saw you guys there. We talked about that briefly on the Christmas show. Yep. I was working. Did at we? Pax- I don't remember the Christmas wow. show. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. And we also. I was also working at Pax Prime. Um, awesome. I don't know. Uh, and then I went to Mexico. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Is that where the? Is this? If this baby comes out like actually, super brown, are you in trouble? Wow. No, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> no. no <laughs> Sancho. Um, actually, I was. I was already two weeks pregnant in Mexico, but I didn't know it at the time. I was all like. I was motion sickness for the first time in my life. We went on a, like a dinner boat cruise, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm feeling so sick right now. I've never been motion sick in my life. Mm. And uh, baby wanted to get the hell out of Mexico. That's what that was. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. No, Mexico was Mexico. <laughs> mm, not when they're kidnapping people. Yeah. I don't know. All right, we got a, we got one more person on the show, and of course no, he's been here. The whole time. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. We have to introduce at least. Okay. Okay. Jerry Panericon. Everybody. Creepy Jerry in the house. Hey. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> <all I guess. laughs> uh, Jerry has actually been uh, up to some stuff too, right, Jerry? Um, I got up today. Wow. I uh, went on the computer and now I'm here. Wow. Wow. Jerry and I were actually playing with a uh, lucky fan out there. Oh, yeah. That happened too. Uh, some Left 4 Dead. Two. With a fan. Two, huh? yeah. With a fan with of a the fan. show. On Twitter. Chad, Chad? Chad Ocho Cinco. Chad uh, Ocho Cinco. Oh, he, he made us a video, too. Yeah, he made us a He's one of the guys that submitted one of the, uh, the Twitter things. Uh, he made a video with a promo with uh, Jerry's estranged stock victim. She's my wife now. Yaya Han. Uh. <laughs> uh, go check that out if you can find that on the interwebs. We'll actually put it up again. Did you retweet that one? Uh, which one? The Yaya Han promo. Uh, I did. It's on the YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, actually, on the, YouTube? the one that the guy made us is so much better than the one I threw up because I yeah. just threw up the raw cell phone video. He put like pictures of Yaya's boobies on the sides. And wow. Then he put like at the end, it was like video game bang two times mm. a week, and it was really professional. That was awesome. <laughs> we, might to, we might have to call this guy. And that's why I linked today for today's episode on the Twitter because Twitter has been amazing. All I did because I came up with three ideas for the show: the weekend bang. And I was like, I don't know what to do. These are three good ones that we can talk endlessly about. What should I do? Let's give it to the people. Let's see what they want to hear about. So I went to Twitter literally 30 minutes before it's showtime. Yeah, we should probably do it a little sooner next yeah. time. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's crunch time. Well, I've been busy. I've been editing the exact anime video and stuff like that. I'm surprised I even had time to even try to look up other stuff for whatchamacallit. So I go up there and I put out, hey, you choose. Got three categories. What do you want? One, two, and three. And the response was quick and fast. And you know what? Everybody, thank you, first of all, for responding in that short amount of time. And your decision out of the three. Oh, God. I'm nervous. I don't like not having the power. Well, there was (laughs) pre-made versus custom characters. Uh Uh-huh. And we could have talked about all different type of games. Oh, yeah. Uh, Number two was exclusive Games for PS4 oh, in 2015. Come on. I hope that's not the one. And number three was horror games of the future. Horror or horror games? Horror. Games. Horror. Like, like sluts. Like Horrors. sluts. Oh, no. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> I am down for that. Horror. <laughs> Scary games. That. Uh, and quick answer. Yes, there will be a Five Nights at Freddy 3. Oh, yeah. You got to ask the Twitter be. question. You know, and that's just, that, that kind of bugged me. Why did that bug you? Because why ask Aaron? Why don't you just say, hey, video gaming, what do you think? Because I had opinions too. Uh, no. But does he, Twitter people? <laughs> does he? Wow. You be the judge. You choose. Hashtag you choose. Hashtag <laughs> you choose. Hashtag Corey's underrated. The uh, Hashtag Eddie Muffy. T- Eddie Muffy? <laughs> Eddie Muffy. <laughs> that, that is definitely a porn star name right there. <laughs> but that was, that was awesome. Eddie Muffy. And well, if you can find that too out there, I, like I said before, there are pictures on the internet of Aaron Carter with his old stash. <laughs> oh man! You just have to dig deep in that internet, and it's not on my Facebook page. I went and searched my whole Facebook to see if I put some up there. Nope, 
Not there. It's probably that. like your photo bucket, right? Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything. Maybe, maybe a tumbler. Uh, I don't want to go in his photo maybe, bucket. Maybe a tumbler. <laughs> anything goes in photo bucket. Right? right? Maybe, a, maybe a gram that's instant. I don't know. <laughs> what's that What's that Yahoo site? The Neo City? Geo, Geo City's closed Geo. down a long uh, time. <laughs> you find it on there? So if, <laughs> if they have Geo City still up. Oh, man. Asian Avenue? <laughs> uh, you might find it on my Asian Avenue profile. Black, Black Planet? Planet? Yeah. <laughs> All the old social media. You just gotta look. And what's difficult is since my name is Aaron Carter, and that's so just every so generic. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna have trillions of freaking. You hits. know, I I would not be surprised if someone finds it. If somebody finds it and they tweets it, uh, they're awesome. I got to give them something. We'll we'll see. But I I doubt that they'll find those those old pictures. That's, they're awesome. <laughs> they're they awesome. Find it. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, so back to the you choose because you do choose. I uh, everybody collectively well actually it was very close it was a tie between number three and two oh, the gosh. horror games in the ps4 uh-huh. but ps4 exclusives oh, win come on the day you everybody yeah. what the hell you know what i think there's a lot of ps4 uh owners owners, owners. yeah jerry owns one madison owns one. Oh, you guys what? Yeah. a2 brood eye wow huh? that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> uh the the thing is too though um this is what people really want what are they going to bring out for me? You know, my yeah. PS4. What have you done for me lately? Uh, and when people ask me all the time, what console should I get? I'm like, oh, sh- there's no real exclusive that's pulling me one towards the other. So go with whatever your friends have, I guess. Yeah. You know, that's usually what I tell them. And it's like, it's heartbreaking because normally, what, five years ago, Xbox 360, yeah. dude. Yeah, what are yeah. you doing? There's no doubt in my mind. There's get pretty much a clear cut winner. Yeah, yeah. This one, it, the, the race is like dead even in my opinion yeah it's getting tug of war um and so now we're going to let you know why i guess some of the games that will draw you closer to the ps4 or push you away or push you away but from what i've seen so far mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there's one game that i'm looking at mm-hmm. yeah let's uh, I don't know. uh let's start over in japan Let's right. start over in Japan with a little game called Deep Down Ooh. and Dirty. Ooh. Now it's just this, Deep Down. Is this, <laughs> is this the, the prequel to The Long Dark? Uh, <laughs> wow. It could be. It deep could be. Deep Down the Long Dark. I think this is Capcom's. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on all these New games. Two episodes airing on BBC. <laughs> because. <laughs> that was good. I need to watch it. Uh I'm not 100% sure on all the details on these games. I got it off a website where it was like 70 exclusive games on, you know, the uh, the PS4 coming out in 2015 or, you know, in the future. Because I don't think all these are going to come out in 2015. That's just that's asking a little too much for some people. But uh, this game, deep down, is Capcom's, or from what I know, Capcom's first tiptoe into the free-to-play uh, genre. Uh, an RPG that's similar to the Diamond Souls, if you like that. You mean demon? I call it Damon. Yeah. Demon Souls. <laughs> Is Damon Wayans? Uh, Damon? None of us are really uh, anybody Demon Souls players in there. I yeah, never I played, really played it. Too frustrated. Died. Yeah. yeah, never played it again. I think Same that's here. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much. I died like six times, and then eventually I was just like, "That's six times too many," and I barely i don't have any armor yeah it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way i've gone through it a couple of times on the show saying my experience with the the demon souls but i mean if it's free to play you have uh, nothing to lose you got nothing to lose right nothing to lose yeah, yeah. that's actually how but see i got mine free to play last time because it was the xbox live free giveaway game mm-hmm. and i still quit yeah, still. Quit. Some games just aren't worth taking up the hard drive space. This one is coming out in 2015. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. Well, and it says uh, multiplayer akin to Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Dark Souls Two. So that means you can't really choose. Yeah, and I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, when am I going to find my co-op partner? Just wow. I'll be your co-op is this, partner. Whoa. Wow! Hey. Whoa. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> this really took a turn. Hashtag co-op partner, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag. Uh, next one on there, H one N one. The bird flu is coming out to the. Uh, yeah, that's not right. H one Z one. I think you might be okay. There we go. H one Z one for the PS four. I know everybody's heard about this one. It's basically Day Z. Have you uh, played any of the Day Z? Anybody in here? Nobody. Yeah, I played I something played. else that was kind of like um, it was called Thirty Days to Die, which is which is also survival. yeah, yeah. I think which is also on this list too later on <laughs> in this thing as well. 
Uh, we played this one at. Well, I got to play this one at E3 and Sony's event. Um, but your your story about the developer was sitting there showing you H one Z one, and wasn't even focused really on that game. He was like, "Hey." He's like, I know this is my game and everything, but did you see what Landmark's doing over That's there? That's terrible. But he they're the fired. same. They're under the same umbrella. They're under that Sony Online umbrella, so you can't really blame the guy. He's probably in the next office, like, oh yeah, my game is cool, and then like leaning over to the Holy cubicle. Crap. What, what the is hell that? is that? <laughs> 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 Requesting transfers and stuff like that. So I got some ideas for Landmark. But like, that's not your game, dude. Yeah, but. I want to throw like these things. Yeah, throw some zombies in there. <laughs> uh, what was pretty cool about that one is they did a uh, hardcore, like, I guess, survival type of thing where you need to, you know, drink and stuff. It's been done before in games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, one thing that I kind of, from what I saw, I mean, I think the game is going to be pretty decent. Um, what I saw in there is uh, building uh, shelter, which I like. Um, I don't know if you can do that in Day Z. They're they're starting to do they're starting that. to roll that out. They they've done a lot already in the Armor Three mod. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Armor Two, where they they were building forts and stuff. But now like they're picking it up on the standalone. Yeah, they 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 did that right out the gates with this one. Um, it's, you know it's gonna be one of those games that'll probably get better over time type of deal. Okay, this is where I'm gonna say something controversial. Sorry, PlayStation people, but doesn't it feel a little like Sony is just becoming a giant ripoff artist? Wow, I know what's coming ahead, so I know a little. It's gonna be a topic of conversation, but I just want to put that in people's minds right now. <laughs> wow, you trying look to at, plant the seed? I'm planting the seed early because mm, look at wow. look at Oculus really Rift doesn't... was massive. Right? Oculus Rift, it's okay. like this is the future. <laughs> okay, and Sony's like, hey, we got something that's just like it. Check okay. us out. Now look at uh, Day Z, big game. It was it's a big game. Early, yes, and it was early access thing. Uh, you know, which is kind of new at the. Or, you know, it was a newer concept, and they're like, "Oh, look at we got the same thing. Early mm-hmm. access, we're gonna call it mm-hmm. early." And in a couple of games, we'll, we'll revisit this. But just just he think said, about it, people. Said, keep that in your thoughts. Open your eyes. Wow. wow. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry can't. Wow. It's also going to be on the PC as well. <laughs> it's because he's Asian. If you can't see him, this one, the H one Z one, will also be on the PC as well. So I mean, it's not really a hundred percent console yeah, exclusive. Okay, so you okay, know, yeah. You so know. it's just a plain ripoff. But still, it is like the Sony's really putting a lot is it, on it. Is that one going to be like a free to play thing too, or something? Um, I don't even think I asked that question at E three. Well, I don't think I was too enthralled by the. My question to you guys is: <laughs> Day Z is not free to play, right? No. Then this one will be Well, no, you pay a flat rate, and then, yeah, yeah of course. It's... These guys are just copying. They're wow, just copy artists. Wow. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to skip this one, and we'll go on to this next one here. A game that I endorse 100%. Go buy yes, it right now. Do. Planet Side 2, everybody. One yeah. of the greatest games on this planet. Uh, no, I'm just... <laughs> I actually around. have a friend so, who's really looking forward to that one. Uh, it got pushed back, though. Um, I think until the end of this month, Push it. it was supposed to be, or well, at least the beta, at least the beta was supposed to come out earlier this, um, I think on the 30th of December, it was supposed to come out because I was waiting for that update. I have it on the PC and I was waiting for uh, like a cross platform update type of thing. But then I saw on the news where they said they were pushing it back to like the end of January or something like that. If you want people to play with, I will hook you guys up because he is hardcore into that game. I've been, like I said, I've been playing the PC, <laughs> but this game, the controls for the PC, if you're a first person shooter, you know, I, I always say that the, the mouse and keyboard are like superior to the controller and stuff like that. And that's, mm-hmm. that's fine, but I feel more comfortable with the controller in my hand. And you can map out a controller on this game. But it just doesn't feel like the game was developed for a controller it's yet. It's not optimized. Yeah, it's not optimized. When I played it at E3 um, with the PS4 controller, it felt like, yeah, this is how it's supposed to feel with the controller in your hand. Um, but when I play at home and try to map it out myself, I could be doing it wrong. I don't know. It just doesn't feel Oh, you're doing the it same. wrong. I've got to be. Because well, you <laughs> don't. So there's games like, like Smite. When you plug in a controller... Um, and actually, no, Smite, you have to map them out yourself, too, on that one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so not Smite. Some games you can plug in. The, okay, so Left 4 Dead. We just play Left 4 Dead. You yeah. plug in a controller, it maps out the controller automatically for you to play. All the buttons and everything. So it's perfectly mapped out. You don't have to go and do anything yourself. Uh, I wish it was like that. And I'm hoping whenever the beta comes out for the PS4 and they say it's cross-platform or something like that, then it'll do an automatic update to where they map out your buttons like the PS4 controller buttons on this one. 
and then I'll give it a second run around and see if I do like it uh, better than I did before. But as of right now, is this a console seller though? Since I mean, we're talking about these games. There are two of them that I would be most interested in, which are H one Z one and Planet Sided Two. They're both PC games too, right? They are and PC Planet Sided Two is already available. Plan- Planet Side. Yep. And Planet Sided. Planet Sided. <laughs> I I don't care to learn these games' names. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, so are is it, uh, what's the market going to look like here? It's a game that's already been out. I mean, for, it's an MMO. For just a, it'll be about three years, right, before the game. It'll already have been out on the PC. Mm-hmm. So, are you looking for a Halo big name type of game to come out and stuff? Well, yeah, like none of these really seem like they're going to take away from what's Halo out there didn't already. Come out on the PC. Eventually it did, yeah. It did. Yeah, that's what yeah, I did. thought. But I think he's talking Microsoft. I think he's talking yeah. console seller like a name that's gonna go boom. Yeah, the way we pitched this Ratchet and Clank, we got it. We're like mm-hmm. big PS four exclusives they're gonna be in you know, for twenty fifteen and there's a console war still raging in the streets. I don't see any of these games on the list. They're What's fighting? Yeah, I mean some What's people that wonder some What's people that? uh may see it as um big to them. I don't know. I don't know who's big yeah. planet side. She just says she has a friend that's a huge planet side. Yeah, but yeah. but he's already huge into it. He's not going to buy a PS4 just to play more. He already planet has side, a right? PS4, and he did actually buy it just to play the. <laughs> uh oh, really? PS4. Yeah. Yeah. So he's already hardcore on the PC, and and PC gamers are going to move to the quote unquote inferior product to play the game. So, um, he's been flip flopping between Xbox and PS4 quite a bit this year and he finally just went to go with straight ps4 because he likes he actually likes gaming on his console more than he does his pc based smart on man. what i've hmm. uh smart man. i've assessed the man from our conversation right. hey <laughs> i'm looking for that somebody to give me the push over the side he's looking for his co-op what did you call it your, your co-op, co-op life part- partner life I, didn't, partner? I didn't even say life but i said <laughs> like co-op partner good lord <laughs> you made it sound so sad <laughs> good lord um <laughs> hashtag find Aaron's yeah co-op so he likes, he likes to like gaming yeah. on his console more um i mean he he liked playing uh the what is it called the final fantasy 14 on his console more than he did on mm. pc which i found surprising because i've always heard the opposite you know? we well we have a friend of ours yeah. uh, pushan he plays that on his console all the time final fantasy 14 yeah. streams it sometimes well, you saw him when uh yeah, i don't know did he stream yeah. final yeah. fantasy when you were doing it i only saw him streaming the halo beta okay yeah so he he'll he'll he streams sometimes the final fantasy stuff um, and he tries to get us into it all the yeah, freaking time. Yeah, he talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get this on the... You could do this and this. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'll give you a free pass. Calm down. <laughs> Calm, Calm your down. tits. <laughs> yeah. Calm your tits. Uh, next game on the list may not be a system seller, but it's very interesting and unique called Wander. It's... Uh, anyway. No, go ahead. Speak your mind. Uh, go Jerry, go cut off the host. I thought you skipped one. I've been skipping a lot of them, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> Jeez. There's 70 on this list. Hey, it, hey. it struck my fancy, too, when See? I saw it, too. Like Bloodborne looks all right, but it's really dark from what I can tell. Somebody out there right now. Oh, my God. You guys skip Bloodborne? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, no, well. <laughs> to be fair, we've talked about <laughs> Bloodborne. We have. Yeah, we've, we've talked about we Bloodborne. We talked about it right after the, the, the PlayStation show in Vegas. So go back and listen to that episode. Yeah, like procedurally generated dungeons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Now we can This move one, on. Wander, is actually marketed as a non-competitive MMO. No combat in the game. What? Ooh, that what? sounds good. Really you just kind of walk around crazy. and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the nicest guy in the world? Literally. Uh, you're supposed to solve the mysteries of the environment and working together with everybody around. You're a walking tree. At least that's what you start off as. I'm figuring this is like Captain Planet. I'm guessing. The planet is yours. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and I just talked to Aaron about, like, we just saw one of our friends walking around and we we're like, that could be a game. Yeah. And this could- And this is probably, probably Actually, yeah, Wander. So everybody can this game wander i think i played it maybe it's a different game what what's the basis of the game i just explained it's a yeah. non-competitive mmo where you're no walking combat. around no, 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 no. <laughs> hold on hold on yes that part sure but like are you like taking on animal forms and like 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 a druid uh, no, <laughs> okay. Always back to because I'm pretty yeah, sure hey. I played this game that was a non-competitive. It was an indie developed game. It was a non-competitive kind of MMO style game where you would go and you can be like a griffin, or then you can take over the mind of like a tree ant and just wander around and look at things. Ooh. And 
<laughs> I that guy I that guy was really cool. It was from Aust- he was from Australia. So um wow, if you're hearing that lovely music right now, that's mm-hmm. yeah, the soothing sounds of No, this of game wonder. actually Yes. That no. actually sounds good in there. Can they hear that? I don't think they can. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, uh we're looking at the trailer right now. Quick gameplay trailer, I guess, of uh Wander. To see if that holds any yeah, weight. Yeah, no, that's totally the game. I totally hung out with this guy at the very first PAX I ever, uh, I ever worked at. And you got to play it, or yeah, no, okay. I played it. He was originally trying to develop it for the Oculus Rift, and I was working for Oculus Rift at the time. So, so without the combat, because that seems like in every MMO almost. Well, not every MMO, because there's that Second Life that doesn't have combat. As far as I know, there's I that know, PlayStation Home, <laughs> that <laughs> Second Life game, yeah, like, way back in the day. It's yeah. kind of a different premise. Like you kind of want to discover things, hmm. um, look around and discover things, and it's interesting. And you can take on different, yeah, you wow, can take yeah, on the minds from... of different things. You can fly, you can, yeah. Now, see, I, I'm not gonna knock the game because when I played WoW, that's literally what I did. Instead of real a lot combat and leveling my character, mm. I kind of just explored a lot, and I took a lot of screenshots, like crazy amount. Um, yeah, look at that. But like, yeah, it looks like you're a druid, like four different and classes. You're <laughs> a, a druid. You're a druid, and you uh, you take on different forms. Um, I would like to see the puzzle part of this game, though. I'd like to see what I don't know what mysteries you're solving in this environment. Oh, yeah. Can I turn into an elephant? Well, I'm just going to shout out to that guy. If he ever happens to hear this podcast. Hi. I can't remember your name. (laughs) We met like two years ago. But I had a lot of fun hanging out with you at the after party. That's a long shot. Uh, (laughs) P.S. This might be your baby. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yes. I've been in gestation for two years. (laughs) This game looks very, um, I don't know. It just looks like a bunch of hippies made it, man. Wow. Like, hey, just make game, no, man. they're Australians. You don't need no it's weapon. kind of the same thing. Oy. Good eye, Mike. I don't right, understand we, we, them. We don't, we don't need to punch each other, Mike. Aust- just- Australia has like the most <laughs> dangerous creatures on the planet. Why not make uh, the Outback in This is like a fantasy game. <laughs> wow. like, can you imagine if we were able to go out and touch all the animals yeah, and just was- not even fight? Touch the trees. <laughs> What if we terrible. were the trees? Yeah. <laughs> what are we're lit. Okay, so. And then when, you know, freaking Guardians came out, it's like Groot's popular. So this is going to be oh awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Everybody's going to be like, I'm Groot. Yeah. But it. But the thing is, it's like, it's an MMO. So that means there's going to be a lot of people playing it, hopefully, in their eyes. Where do you go? It seems like everybody's going to solve these puzzles around the world. I don't. Uh... Well, look at how many seasons did Lost have? Oh, my God. There, and, but there how many go. seasons of good Lost were there? Irrelevant. Yeah, see, that's, that's the question. Uh, no, this game does not uh, wet my whistle. I don't know how many people's does whistle not, is going to wet. Does not move my needle. That's what? <laughs> what? <Whoa>. horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Let's, right. Do we have enough? Yeah, let's just jump to this one. Okay. It, I don't want it to take too much time. Uh, why don't you want it to take too much time? This, this one's awesome. This one's amazing. Yeah. yeah. This one is called... Uh, this one is called <laughs> that he's talking about that it might bleed over into the next part. Collectums, everybody. Woo. Uh, they're trying to tout it as like, so, hey, you got a PlayStation. You're not getting Pokemon. No. Sorry. You know, uh, but we got something for you. <laughs> we got a uh, game called Collectums. And from the screenshot that I see, it looks like uh, developers that were developing for Pokemon and they got their ideas canned uh, went to this and collaborated and made a game together. So it's going to be a bunch of shitty ideas that didn't make it into the real <laughs> Pokemon game? Uh, or good ideas. Or good ones, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, because looking at these Their developer creatures, company is called Layabouts. I, thought, <laughs> I honestly thought this was a joke. I thought you guys were joking that there was like a funny, you know, key and peel thing called collectums or something. And then you guys tell me this is a real game. I threw up in my mouth a little bit. It's a, it says a red and blue inspired monster fighting game. Woo. It'll be out uh, on the PS4 and the Vita. Gotta collect them all. The Basically, Vita. it, it like looks those. like the poor man's Pokemon, no lie. Um, a bunch of reject Pokemon. There's like one that looks like he has an axe in his head. <laughs> I, it's like your know. mom wouldn't buy you the actual Pokemon. Yeah. So you went and you found an emulator on the internet. And oh. your friends make fun of you because they're like, oh, you don't have the real Pokemon. That's you gotta collect them. That's the only way I see this getting purchased. The kid puts Pokemon on there and his mom's it's, like, ah, shit, that's close enough. It's a grandma enough. fooler. Yeah. Yeah. It's a grandma fooler. It's like when your parents buy you <laughs> off-brand soda. Wow. Well, <laughs> Shasta? Shasta. <laughs> that's terrible. Shout out to Shasta. 
Uh, that's messed up. Yeah, our sponsors now. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, uh, or on the second half of this uh, episode, we're going to get more into this games uh, for the PS4. So stick around, everybody, and go play Collectums while on the break. Yeah. Hi, this is Amber Goldfarb, the voice of Aveline de Grand Pré, and you're listening to Video Game Bang. Hello, this is Cass Anvar Altair Ibn Laahad from Assassin's Creed Revelation, and you are listening to the Video Game Bang. This is Strife, the main guy behind Freedom Planet. This is Commander Tor. Hi, this is Lilac the Dragon Girl. This is Spade. This is Mayor Zhao. This is Syntax. Greetings, this is Lord Brevin. And you're listening to Video Game Bang. Plus five, awesome. Hey man, I'm Kevin Smith. Jason Muse. And you're listening to the Video Game Bang, which sounds a lot dirtier than it is. This is Janice Davis, author of Holder's Dominion. And you're listening to Video Game Bang with superstar, incredibly charming hosts. Hello, Super Heron. Hello, Princess Cory. It's me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia. You guys, number one. Woohoo! <laughs> Dr. Thunder has like 36 flavors instead Ooh, of the. <laughs> I, that's going to be my next group. Or some name. odd number has like 17 flavors on there. <laughs> oh, wow. Dr. Thunder, everybody. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the weekend. Bang, everybody. We're talking about PS4 exclusives. Somewhat exclusive. I mean, there's PC games on here, too. Uh, but for 2015. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> One I'm excited about. Bout. We're on page two if a you guys boot. are uh, keeping up with the uh, the whole thing. <laughs> For those of you following at home. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, Godzilla, everybody. Godzilla. The movie came out, of course, last year. Did anybody watch the movie, actually? No. I did. Breaking Bad? Oh, Breaking Bad? No, no. Godzilla, Breaking Bad guy was in there. Cranston. What's his name? Brian, yeah. Brian Cranston. Cranston. Yeah, I, I saw the movie, actually, while I was <clears throat> visiting in Seattle. Good, bad, Friday. so-so. It, it was it was entertaining. It served its purpose of being an entertaining movie. Um, <laughs> the person I was watching with uh, got incredibly inebriated. Wow! <laughs> <And> so he, <laughs> I guess he enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, you're probably gonna do nothing but blast buildings down and stuff like that. I don't know. There was a game called. Is this a movie game, Aaron? Is this a movie game? Yeah. I would say no. No. No, no it's no. not a movie game. But they're using the same logo as that they did in the movie. Okay. Like that's the same. But it's not. The movie storyline. If it's the same like model that they used from that still the doesn't most make it. Movie, no. I think I think oh one of gosh. the things that really constitutes a movie game is that they rush the development of it to release it at the same. That's time terrible. As the I think that's wrong. That's, that's another thing I there too. That is right. <laughs> that's I another. Think, I think you guys are using movie game as a synonym for bad game, and I don't no. think it's true. Yeah. <laughs> If you you know what you do need to do, you, know you need I to say? listen to the Christmas episode because your wife came in here and gave the best definition for a movie game. Did she? That was counter wow. to what you thought. Uh, <laughs> did I did I concede my point? To no, it? you kept with your freaking uh, stubbornness and didn't want to. That sounds about right. Yeah, yep. but I was like, I was like, wow, why isn't she on the show on a regular? She just gave the best answer. <laughs> For this whole debate. Yeah, you guys all suck. Wow. <laughs> uh, you didn't get anything new with that one. Uh, one game that actually I do want to see and play, which most likely won't be an exclusive. I'm going to say it's a timed exclusive. N++. I played this game on the Xbox 360. Not N++, but N+. It's basically a kind of a platformer. Um, Is that the little ninja dude? Little ninja guy, yeah. And it was very difficult in the later oh, levels. Heck, yeah. uh, it was four players co-op, and you guys were just like going around the environments and stuff like that. The game was amazing, though. I had like so much fun playing the game. It was frustrating, but I just kept playing it over and over again. Yeah. Um, it's not for everybody. It's definitely going to be one of those uh, arcade games that you download yeah. for like five bucks. I know um, why you like that game because you were really good at Flappy Bird. Uh, I was decent at Flappy Bird. <laughs> yeah, won a couple of trophies. Uh, How far did you get on Flappy Bird? I think that I was the know. last actual show I was on. Actually, oh, when I Flappy yeah. Bird. <laughs> wow. Go back and listen to that episode if you haven't listened to that one. It's good. You'll see my high score on Flappy Bird. Yeah, there's like traps everywhere on N Plus. Um, I remember we even got uh, a friend of ours, Jenny, into this game. Really? Yeah. Nice. Jenny doesn't like video games. Hey, right? What? She doesn't like video games. And yet she played with me and Steven a lot on this game. It's very simplistic. N plus, and I'm guessing N plus plus is just going to take that and ramp it up to the next level, which is probably going to be nothing but just more levels. More levels. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it's going to be. I mean, again, it's kind of cool, but 
my needle is rested comfortably in the same spot. Uh, so limp. Terrible. <laughs> oh, No Man's Sky. That's an exclusive. Here we an go. Oh, All right. I, boom uh-oh. goes the dynamite. Boom. So, boom. Yeah, okay. There so this is, one. That is the one I'll to concede. buy a PS4. I'll concede to this one. <laughs> no Man's Sky, it's of course. It's just a Minecraft ripoff. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and a movie game. So they just did <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no country for old men. It's the same. Wow! Thing. <laughs> if they get that actor to be in this game, oh my god! Oh. Uh, they did their thing in uh, Vegas. The the Sony like uh, what was it? Sony Experience or whatever that thing was. Uh huh. And they were like, oh, we're gonna at the end, we're gonna show you some exclusive footage of No Man's Sky with, oh, with that band or whatever. Yeah. And I was disappointed. I'm yeah. like, I'm like heating up for this one. <laughs> oh, wow, she Uh-oh. is really. Wow. That that game looks so awesome. But see, the She's thing listening now, <laughs> I'll, you can listen to past episodes. I was the main one hyped for this game. Space exploration, um, procedurally Robots. generated, you know, basically universe because you know there's a whole bunch of different planets and stuff like that. Uh, and then when I watched the whole like 30 minute developer diary on this where the guy takes you to the games and like debug mode and he shows how close it generates the ground to like little rocks. And then he pulls out into space and it shows how like everything is just, you know, procedurally generated. But then one thing that kind of took me out of it was you can play the game and you may never actually even find your friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing that is kind of like eh, about it. Yeah. But um. I still want to play it. Yeah. I still definitely I mean, want to play it. I heard some really cool things. I was listening to a uh, huge interview from Game Informer. I'm sorry. Uh, ab- you with can one say of Game the- Informer. Okay. Well, <laughs> we like them. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just don't say Kotaku. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. No, I was I was listening to this huge interview with one of the developers on Game Informer. Um, and, like, they were taking user questions and, like, there there was this co- one of the questions was like one of the users wanted to transport animals from different planets and make a zoo Ooh, what did they say wow. um they <laughs> they very they didn't really answer the question yeah but like that around would the question so cool that would be dope and then you come upon somebody's planet where they've just harbored a whole bunch of different Noah's alien... Ark, let's do this. Yeah, like the yeah, Noah Ark yeah. planet. Yeah, no, that would be so well, epic. And what's even cooler, like in real life, <clears throat> like if you have a, a, a pond or something that just has little toads in it or something like that, and you transplant fish from a different ecosystem, they will screw up that entire ecosystem. They will like either ex- kill all the frogs and then overpopulate or something like that. You see it like, uh, what do they call it? Like that... Sh- there's that uh, show River Monsters. You ever seen that? No, like on Discovery. That. Yeah, mm-hmm. like on Animal Planet. Yeah, someone will bring like a freaking shark and put it in a country shark- sharks don't belong, and it's like biting people and it's screwing up the entire ecosystem of that place. Actually, and... that would happen with carps. Um, yeah, here, yeah, locally. Mm-hmm. People brought carps into one of the the lakes. Who the hell is bringing carps? <laughs> People just do weird shit. They'll like pick up a bass from one spot and be like, hey, I, I, I wonder what it'll do over here. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it. And then the lake turns green and <laughs> just like... they'll multiply and they'll kill things and other things will rise up. It's weird. And, uh, or like fungus that another fish was feeding, feeding on mm-hmm. you know, that fish gets killed. So the fungus overgrows everything and everything dies. Wow. Yeah. So if they could get that level of like, if you bring detail yeah. that, that would be a, like a, that's setting the bar extremely high for every other game that even wants to do open world <laughs> anything. But oh, does your uh, your ecosystems change because of what people do? Oh no, it doesn't. All right, <laughs> cool, yeah. cool, whatever. Uh, Ours does. Yeah, that with this game, it, I'm I'm skeptical because something that Alex said a long time too, a, a long time ago about like landmark, like it's it wants to do so much. And it gets you so excited that it's kind of just like hard to believe that they're going to be able to pull all this off. And it's just like, uh, so you got to, you know, be cautious out there. Because games, I was excited about a lot of games. The um, Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, Mm -hmm. yes. Let me down. Uh, Let me down. That one let everyone down. There's very (laughs) few things at all that like really live up to this level of hype. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of the thing. Like before when we first heard about it at the Joel McHale thing remember that oh with the award show you're talking about yeah, that award yeah. show is when it first kind of like hit the the bright lights oh and man the, they didn't even have sony on board yet no and, and it took over like people were like oh my god this is gonna be amazing and then now like you were saying they just release 
they could show any new little screenshot and people just eat it up. So this game is going to disappoint you. I'm sorry. Speaking ah. of Joel McHale, I had a run in with him while I was working at PAX East this year. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Um, I was working at the Bethesda booth and I didn't know it was him. Had no idea. Like he didn't look like him at all from what I, I've seen on Community. Uh huh. He kind of looked like a, a weird old guy. I'm not going to lie. Well, really? I mean, he is like, yes. Oh, he's like 49, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm just standing there at the Bethesda booth, like working the the exit, handing people their swag bags and, accept, and you know, saying goodbye to them as they're leaving from, uh, from demoing Wolfenstein. And I'm, I, I got a lot of um, attention from guys while I work there. Um, and oh, so yeah. this guy, I, it's Joe McHale, but I don't know it at the time, walks by, stops mid-tracks, stare, looking at me, stares at me, walks straight up to me, starts asking me about these party uh, invitations I was handing out for the Bethesda party that night. He, and he's like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, we're, we're having a party tonight for Bethesda. To celebrate Wolfenstein. It's going to be cool, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and he's like, are you going? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And he just stands there staring like at the invitation, then looking at me at the invitation, looking at me, I guess, waiting for me to recognize him, which I don't. Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> classic winger. He's trying to trying to get a pickup. Is that what he's trying to do? I, I have no idea. But mm. eventually, he just like he walks into the booth, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, this is an exit. And he was really chill. He was like, oh, okay. And then he walked around to the um to the um the press area of the booth, and he didn't have badges on or anything. Hmm. So I had I just thought he was just some weird guy coming to like be <laughs> weird at me and. I, I really had no idea it was wow. him should, until afterwards. He probably walked around. Right after. Mm-hmm. No, no. Right after I, I was like, this is an exit. He's like, oh, okay. And walked away. Two of my coworkers ran up to me. Did you just turn away Joel McHale? And I'm like, who? <laughs> he probably walked away. <laughs> and he was like, damn it. She doesn't know who I am. Damn it. <laughs> She's never, she must have never seen the soup. I right. actually, <laughs> really? I actually yeah. heard later on that he did show up to that party, but I showed up to the party like almost two hours late, so he had already left by the time oh. I got there. And he was just holding his phone out. Have you seen this girl? <clears throat> Cinderella? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. You could have been on Community. Yeah. yeah. Before it was canceled. Oh. Boom. Now you're pregnant. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, I guess. Right. How many years ago? Was this about nine months? Or yeah, this was... Wow. <laughs> could have been his baby. Wow. It's, it's just like, find her baby. Is that what we <laughs> Find her baby daddy? <laughs> if it comes Hashtag. out with that hairline, we'll all know. He does have a distinct hairline. Yeah, he does. He does have a distinct hairline. Strong. Uh, for you old fans, uh, Grim Fandango Remastered's coming out. Um, it's an old like uh, adventure type of game, I guess. You ever play the click and click adventures, Nair Corey? Ooh, click adventures. Point and click adventures. Uh, <clears throat> not this one. It's supposed to be one of those. I never got to play Grim Fandango, but it's, uh, what is the guy's name? Schaefer. Tim Schaefer. Mm. Uh, it's his baby. You know? Oh, that weird looking dude? Yeah. Yeah, with the big hair. His hair, the, yeah. yeah. The hair is kind of defined. Oh, at first mm-hmm. I thought you were talking about mine, and I was like, no. No, no. 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 I've never oh, met no. him. <laughs> Tim, Tim Schafer. If your baby comes out with that haircut, <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> we, <laughs> we have to talk. You know exactly whose baby daddy that is. That's, that's the Schafer master. <laughs> the Schafer master. I'm guessing the uh, the writing and everything must have been really good on this one. He's really good, actually, I think, at storytelling, because Psychonauts was pretty good of, you know, had that quirky feel to it. Um, I never got to play Grim Fandango, though. It was a, a um, it says the neo-noir adventure as you play as Manny Calavera, who is assisting in uh, the played- recently dead Meche? Me- 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 I played oh, costume Me- quest. That's that a Mexican Me- word. Me- that's a Mexican word. I, I don't know. Calamar and the journey through the underworld. So, I mean. Wasn't play- costume quest his, too? Like. I don't know if he did. I'm pretty sure quest. because they said it's from the makers of Psychonauts, and that one was fun. Yeah, Double Fine is his whole. That's his whole yeah, was, baby. Yeah, he's he's one of those developers that are like, I don't think he gets enough credit for what he does. Mm. Yeah, I think he he does good solid games, and then he kind of just gets sweeped under the. But he has his his hardcore fans. They're like, oh, Tim Schafer's making oh, this yeah. game. Yeah, I'm getting you know. This was the uh, Brutal Legends guy, right? Yeah, Brutal Legends. Yeah. There is the other one. And I liked Brutal Legends was funny to me. I didn't get to play through the whole thing to get to where you guys said it was bad, where it did the, just, the strategy it, part. I know. It could have just stayed an action-adventure game. would have been way better. 
Mm-hmm. Tim Schaefer, maybe uh, be doing too much. Maybe doing too much. The Order 1886, I think. It looks yeah. like oh, one of the best looking games yes. so far so on good. the PS4. I, okay, that was the main thing I was really excited about at E3. And it was bizarre to me because that's like the numbers on my house. And I'm walking at E3 and then I'm like, 1886, that's my house. Well, let's not put that on the <laughs> internet so oh, yeah, people yeah. can find you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, this game looks like... Um, I can't even tell the time period. Actually, whenever I watch like gameplay footage of it and stuff like that and they're showing... Uh, the shooting, it reminds me of like a Resident Evil type of feel. Oh, yeah. I, I like thought action it based. felt a lot like um, an Uncharted game when I played it. Really? Yeah. And I actually yeah. asked them, I'm like, this feels a lot like Uncharted. And they're like, oh, yeah, actually, some of the developers from Naughty Dog came over here. Mm. So. Ooh. And on yeah. the little article that's in front of me, they're saying uh, some even labeling it a Gears of War clone. So that's really? like, what? it's blending. That's the one that I see. The one that oh, Corey's dude, looking at right this. now. When they're in the I'm, kitchen. Where he's in the kitchen. Yeah. That's what I saw. That's why I say it felt kind of like a, a Resident Evil looking. Even, over even the without shoulder. No Man's Sky, this is another reason to buy a PS4. It was really exciting to play when this, I played it. This at really fits the description of like a PlayStation game. Like, it really looks like one. It looks like it responds like one. Like,. Fits right up there with The Last of Us and it's gonna Uncharted. Ha- it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it definitely has that whole you know grit feel uh, to it. I, I can see a lot of people cosplaying that mustache of the mm-hmm. main character. <laughs> I want one of like those. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I I have a picture of me from Pax Prime where I'm wearing that mustache. Uh. <laughs> wow, <clears throat> all natural too. The uh, wow, <laughs> that's terrible. Wow. That's a thick mustache. That is real thick. That is some, <laughs> some thick, thick mustache. Uh, let's go into the page number three for this one. Press. One of the other ones uh, that I'm actually kind of excited about, we saw it at, I, I want to say the Sony Experience on um, the Vegas one, because I don't think it was at E3. I want to I say, I'm skipping kind of down for the, the people following me. Has Hayden Pinatiera in the, uh, the little... Until oh. Dawn. Until oh, Dawn, yeah. the horror movie one. So it's kind of blended in the other one that we did, future horror games, you know. Yeah. There we go. Um, but when I saw it and I saw the little um, gameplay of oh, it, what? Yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah. like heavy rainish graphics. So it's like going for that ultra realistic look uh, in real world. So it shows her like in the bath or whatever. Um, awesome scene, by the way. Wow. <laughs> and uh, and then she's running. Eventually, she starts running from the killer and everything like that with her towel on and everything. You awesome to, scene, by the you way. You have to make the quick decisions and stuff like that. But they're all quick time events. Are like, you know, like press A real in, quick or in press heavy left. rain with Madison. <clears throat> yes, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I kind of wanted it to be an actual, you know... A fully full. You I want move. full control of Hayden. Pantier. Yes, I want yeah. full control. I want to jump. You, I want to walk her doing... in front of the mirrors when she's in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> I want everything. I want to crawl for no reason. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you are, that's what you live up to the name every time you're on the. And show. I, I think there are. I mean, there's some moments where you do get to probably move around the environment because, like in Heavy Rain, there was the same thing. You can move around the environment somewhere. Yeah. Sometimes, right? Yeah. So it's going to be the same thing like that, like yeah, what you're same. watching at now. But I want full. Because look how quick it goes into a cutscene. She moves for like two seconds and then boom, I'm into a cutscene. And, you this, know. Could this be like the next evolution of like a uh, Telltale game? Oh. Like a full budget story, interactive storybook? That'd be awesome. I would probably say yeah. I mean, I don't. I didn't get to play Heavy Rain, so Damn, I don't know. This game looks beautiful, though. It does, right? I, yeah, yeah. I played Heavy Rain up until the point where I found out who the killer was, and then in the entire game frozen crashed frozen wow crashed. like you were and then i was like ah, right after i found out who it was and this is hayden and i knew it was him the whole time by the way this is hayden oh pre-baby <laughs> yeah so. it must be because she is kicking look at that body mm-hmm. you know it seems kind of interesting that they would choose hayden pinnatier unless they were really gonna try and market this towards like a hey anybody could pick up and play this because mm. really look at her she doesn't have much geek cred I mean, she was on Heroes, but nobody liked her on Heroes. What? I liked her. I, I loved her on Heroes. Right. Are you season, kidding? Season what? one. Season, season one. one. Yeah. Everybody save was the cheerleader. Good. Save the world. Everybody was good in season one, but she kind of drew up into that, you know, character who's like, there was no purpose for, her for a long time. Well, that was bad writing, though. That was just bad writing. On yeah, and then part. she was naggy was on bad. some part. I mean, yeah, she, there was. She, she started off as a great character, but then turned into like. An annoying character that was just kind of like along and just would end up places. What they did in Heroes, which I they didn't make it 
they didn't make it X Men enoughy for me. That's what I feel. Because yeah. I can see her character like turn into some type of warrior uh, that's like a I don't care because I can't get damaged blindly running into fight type of situations and stuff like that. But they what they try to do was uh, they try to take the Marvel approach and be like these are humans with superhuman powers. You know they're humans first, so they're real people. But I don't know. It just started to that that writing season two and on kind of just since bleh. I'm yeah, already married, I, I don't have a chance with Hayden Penny Tier. I'm just gonna go for it. You know what? I just can't. What I disrespect about her the most what? is like during the time when Heroes was getting big and she was building that name into the mainstream. You remember she came out with a song? No, the same no. Time? I don't. She had no. a song. It was like a reggae song. Like no a, way. It was like a ska <laughs> song. And you know what? Uh, like around that same time, Paris Hilton did the same thing. I remember Paris Hilton's yeah, brief she, music career. She did like a brief little thing, and everyone was doing like that Gwen Stefani kind of feel because it was easy to sing uh-huh. and stuff. And Peyton Pinatier jumped in that, and it seemed so fake. Wow. And so I was like, oh, that's so fake. And then she started doing Nashville. Yeah, I was going to say, she's on the country show now, and right? And now she has like another album out, but now it's country. So, and I think, But I think the country one it does a little better, because well, I've actually heard of that. I think that fits her a little bit better, but it just seems but like she'll do But country's also really easy. I think I think so. Yeah. Wow. You know, uh, hashtag country easy out there. Sorry, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <friends>. <laughs> easy crunch. Sorry to my friends in the South. Good <laughs> lord. But I think she'll just do whatever she can for money. Well, yeah. This one is more like a survival horror game. Um, uh, more akin to your teen horror movies. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. there's probably going to be some type of sex scene before the killer kills somebody in there. All right, I'm down. <laughs> Uh, pre-order let's hope but the graphics are just like amazing yeah, on this really thing good. they're really good like see her she's looking at a video of somebody getting slaughtered or something not, like that not an evil within horror uh and then another thing uh that about this game too i think Go they some said clothes on hayden Penetier. she's been in this towel forever i think what why some... do you want her to put clothes what? she's what? getting chased by a murderer That's when do you have yeah. when do you have time to stop exactly. and put clothes? first thing i would do is put on some underwear so I have a, nah. you know, all she needs is shoes Nah. That's all she needs. She doesn't need to wear anything You're more aerodynamic but naked. shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the wind is just, just whipping past it's you. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but it's probably true. They're supposed no, to be uh, make your own choices in the game. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's a butter up naked guy. <laughs> wow. You're supposed to make your own choices in this game. <laughs> and depending on the choices, of course, you make, you have different endings. If somebody dies, they're permadeath, I believe. Replayability. Yeah. That's good. Kind of like, uh, what was the name of that game? Illbleed. I never played Illbleed. I never played uh, <laughs> Illbleed. Look it up. I want to see who else they got for this game later on when it comes out. I want to see what other celebrities they... They decided well, to Kevin Spacey. Want. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, no, I don't want Kevin Spacey. <laughs> no, nope. if it's a teen like horror movie thing, you know, <laughs> you just want the like the younger actors and actresses and stuff like that. Uh, and we'll see if they have like a black guy that dies first in the game or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Michael B. Jordan. I know it's you in there. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> Funny story, did you know that the original uh, Night of the Living Dead, the black guy was the only one who survived through the entire night? Yeah, through the entire night, but then in the day, what happened to him? He got shot by exactly cops. Exactly, Monday. <laughs> Boom, cops. He got cops. shot. Yeah. <laughs> by the uh, cops. Because we did, we did the uh, they're interview. Like, they're like, what's the only thing worse than killing the black guy first? Let's let him let live. Let him survive and then get killed by a cop? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. And not even like by... It was like by accident, basically. They thought yeah. he was a zombie through the window and boom. They shot him. Yeah, hands up. <laughs> exactly. I can't breathe. Hashtag I can't breathe. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, That's but yeah, when we, we, we talked about that because when we did the watched. interview with the guy who does the comic book for the um, Night of the Living Dead or whatever. Yep. Yeah, I brought that up to him because I was, you know, it was a little uh, whatever. Uh, Ratchet and Stank, everybody. Ooh. Uh, Clank died in the last one, so Stank is replacing him. What? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally a joke. Okay. Not a joke. <laughs> I was right there with you. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, that's a name seller right there for, for your, you know, our system seller right there. Because that's a name. That's a Mario type for, name for, for their some system. People, I guess. Um, I never really got to play a lot of them. I played the first the one and a little, and I I got up to the last boss in the second one, and mm-hmm. then I really didn't play them much after that. Uh, we haven't really even seen anything for this one. I mean, whenever consoles come out, you always know they're they're going to put their big hitters. Nintendo is going to mm-hmm. put Mario. Xbox is going to put Master Chief. Uh, Sony, I guess, is going to go with the uh, Ratchet and Clank again. Fun story, that was the first console game I ever owned on my very first console. Really? My very first what? Ratchet and Clank. So you just have a place in your heart? 
yeah, no. I I'm more of Final Fantasy X because that was the one that I first played on the PlayStation Two, which made me really really beg my mom for one. And mm. then that was the like I literally I traded in that other ATV game that came with my system. That's the only reason I got it is because it came ATV with versus MX off road or something like that. I, yeah, I something like yeah, that. I traded it in. They did and a whole I went, bunch of those. And yeah. I went and I bought myself Final Fantasy X, and I played Final Fantasy X sixteen times before I even touched Ratchet and Clank. So damn. <laughs> Uh, one game that might be a system seller, seller, uh, Ether One. Eth- ether One? Ether? I thought it was E-I for Ether. I don't know. I don't know. Either? Either One? Ether One? Uh, <laughs> it's actually touted as a walking simulator. Oh, I've been wow. waiting for one of these. Right? 2015. 2015, 2015 looks exciting. We have a walking simulator. We've got a non-combat MMO. This is going to be a hit with the Stephen Hawking's <laughs> in the world. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so terrible. bad. <laughs> that is so... Terrible. I've always wanted to know what he, it was like to walk. He's going to roll you over. <laughs> gonna You're going to be walking outside one day and just ran over by a wheelchair. I heard wheelchair. what you said. <laughs> said, take that, Corey, that. I heard that, what you that, said. That. Terrible. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Boom, uh, but it's another puzzle type of game. Like, you know, you go around the environment solving puzzles and stuff like that. I was just throwing that one out there because it just said walking simulator. And I was like, why would you even... That doesn't even sound appealing. Hey, there's people out there that can't walk. Okay, so they... Uh, wow. <laughs> there's plenty of more, like, better games you can go out there and, and walk. <laughs> <laughs> if it's that immersive <laughs> that it's a walking simulator. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, what else we got on here? Of course, like I said, they're always going to come up with their big names. Uncharted, mm-hmm. they got that one. The Thief's End. Um, that's oh, another big Uncharted. one. Wow, is that Nathan Drake? That is Nathaniel Drake. And the graphics wow. look pretty... Uh, he is aging. Well, that's good, right? Yeah, no, it's amazing. You want to keep the realism um, about this whole thing. I freaking love Uncharted. Like, some of my like my favorite games for PlayStation are amazing. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> End of story. Uh, Uncharted, <laughs> Uncharted 4, this one is supposed to be a darker adventure, I guess, this time. So, I mean, Nathan loses a couple of fingers on the way to the uh, end. Ooh. I don't know. I'm literally making that up. Sully's got to be dead by now. Come on. They're trying to keep up with Tomb Raider. (laughs) Really, right? Mm. And since Xbox got their exclusive on that, right? Yep. So now they need theirs. They're going head to head. Which one do you win? Because, I mean... The one with the bigger boobs. Oh, man, that looks great. But, well, she doesn't have that... You know that big package anymore? It's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, even though they the did, at least uh, A's, high A's, low B's. <laughs> you know, at least even though they did like take away from the extremism of her sexuality, mm-hmm. they still did incorporate little things of like kind of seemed like bondage situations. Yeah, and, I'm like, not gonna lie. I played that Tomb Raider game, and in comparison to Uncharted, it kind of bored me. Like I, wow, I could get yeah. through it, but it was really not as awesome as Uncharted, in my opinion. Well, I mean, I potato, potato. Yeah. Right? yeah. Right. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, since that music is playing, that means we are getting to the end. Let's uh, do a quick speed round. Hotline Miami 2, if you like part 1. Part 2 is going to be exclusive to the PS4. Persona 5. Uh, Persona Case 5. It's amazing. Uh, is it really? I like. Uh, I really uh, like part 4. And you're Asian. Bro yeah. Force. Uh, that's supposed to be a cool indie game. That's such an Alex Baggins-worth game. Uh, Bro. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is. Uh, Street Fighter, old, or excuse me, sorry, sorry, Ultra, Ultra yeah. Street Fighter 4, exclusive to the PS3. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be on there. Disgaea 5, you got that one coming up. You know, uh, on the last show, we caught a lot of a little bit of flack afterwards. Yeah. We caught a, you know what? You know what? As it much is. flack as we caught, we also got positivity, though. We got a lot of positive stuff out of last episode, but there were some uh, people voicing their opinions that we were a little uneducated about the WoW movie. Yeah. And then I went and educated myself about the WoW movie. And? Not impressed. Not impressed. There not you go. Impressed. There you have it. Aaron Carter's still not impressed <laughs> not with your directors. Not impressed. Uh, first of all, that director made three movies. <clears throat> even though, excuse me, I'll take it back. He made two movies, one short movie, uh, or short film. He did make Source Code. I did like Source Code. It was a good movie. Uh, I did not get to see uh, Moon, um, but it won a good amount of awards. Uh, there's a difference, though. I can go in a long difference. Those were, you know, singular stories, kind of smaller. War, uh, Warcraft is a huge story. So with it's like a with a lot of lore. So he's got a big task ahead of him, you know. Uh, good luck to him, though. Yeah. Good luck to him. And we good also got to, we can't fail to mention, if you have not already, we want to thank them so much for sponsoring our last giveaway, UltraArcade.com. Go to that website. They got a giant Killer Instinct World Cup with a giant $10,000 prize. 
Uh, they helped sponsor our show with those prizes, so we're scratching their back. Go to that website and follow the tournament. Thanks for listening. For Corey, Madison, and Jerry, I'm Sir Aaron Carter saying the PS4 might be in your future. Not or mine. might not. Not mine. Not mine. <laughs> not Walking even for simulator. No Man's Sky? <laughs> <laughs> let me bang, I man. do let you bang. Hey. Let me bang again, man. I let you bang. I let you bang. Let me you bang. Let me bang. Let me bang. Let me bang. Now go fuck yourselves. Nicky, what did you? Who's gonna just throw T Rexes at people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have been more excited if it was Primal Rage, but mm, well, yeah. you know, whatever. Whatever gets people off, I guess. Who's Andrew Ayas? Uh, um, the little kid? Yeah. He's one of the fans of the show. He... Oh, okay, because he says, I see oh, me. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, I don't know what he's talking about there. Yeah. I was talking in acronyms. Should we have gone into the Everybody's Gone, the Rapture? This music sounds like the uh, cranberries. <laughs> zombie, zombie. <laughs> <That's> zombie. <laughs> Rocket Birds Evolution. This is like another stupid game. Hard boiled chicken. I'm just not. You know what? That one game we reviewed was so terrible. Is this them? Maybe. With the cluck and whatever. Yeah. What was the game called? Cluck. Fluster cluck. 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 Yeah. Cluster, Cluster cluck. cluck. I don't know, dude. I'll never play another game with a chicken in it again. <laughs> I'm done with Fable because of that game. Wow. Metal Gear has chicken that chicken kicker. head. Yeah, Metal Gear now has that chicken head. Yeah, this is really weird. Is there any big ones that we didn't get to that you wanted to That about? pissed me off whenever they did that one. Tearaway? Yeah, I, did, I could care less about that game. And they try to push it. I hate when companies try to push... Something that they think is just so innovative yeah, it's, when it's, it's really awesome. not. Uh, <clears throat> the style, the the graphics and style and stuff looks, you know, cool to me. Like I like that look, how everything is all paper in the game. But realistically, what you guys are doing is not that impressive. Going down South Park, gonna have myself to have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the show's over now, right? Yeah, somewhat. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah, I usually just record afterwards. The show's always going. This happens. is the after party. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they really tried to force this one on us too much. Yeah, at that at that Sony thing, that was kind of just strange. Yeah. Caraway, the Moses good. ability, yeah. <laughs> parting the sea. <laughs> like nobody. Gonna really Little Big Planet meets South Park. Yeah. It almost uh, kind of... The graphics somehow remind me of um, that one really amazing one, uh, Journey. I wish they did more Journey-type games. Oh, Journey was yeah, awesome. Yeah, Journey... Journey was Street cool. Lights. I just remember I even I, it was only two hours thinking. long, yeah. but at the end of that two hours of playing that game, I was just like, wow. <laughs> Of course, you got to do your remakes, your HD remakes of things. Mm. Final Fantasy what ten is and ten two. Say, look how it looked then. Oh, look how it's going to look now. Look Whoa! How, I look, played so much of that game. Look how shitty it looked. Like wow. I, I remember. Like I could probably Whoa. quote some of the stuff. I remember Did they even every the cutscene from the beginning to the very end. Like yeah. I don't know. I think they just added trophies. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, what's the trailer saying though? The trailer is like cross compatible audio drama within the concept art. Mm. I like ten better than X two. I think is ten good. is like between ten and seven is like a lot of <clears throat> people's favorites. Ten, seven When I actually was a big fan of nine. Is that the monkey boy one? Yep. You like that one? It had co op in it. It did? Yep. A lot of people didn't know about it. <laughs> I did not know. Had, Wait, what they had have co-op, co-op where you it? play your game and like your friend could watch? No. Or they could battle. They battle with and... you. Like They control... Um, uh, I think they control two people and you control two people because it was mm. four in the group. And um, Like, heal me, bro. Well, because <laughs> everybody... Uh, certain people had combos together. Oh, okay. And so, like, the knight guy, I think, and the mage, like, you can... Uh, fire his sword and make it like a fire attack for his attack oh. next and stuff like that. What yeah. game was this? Final Nine. Fantasy 9. Oh, okay. 
But yeah. a lot of people, I think, didn't like that one. I like the story, though. One Piece is fun. a really popular yeah. anime. Not popular enough for people to know the freaking yeah. trivia question. Do you know? Who was Luffy's first crewmate? Oh, I have no idea. Exactly. I've never watched it. <laughs> but I actually have, like, um, I have these little um, keychain mm-hmm. dealies. Like, or, like, the things that go on your phone. Yeah, from One Piece, because a friend of mine who visited Japan um, brought me back home two of them as, like, souvenirs. You know why I think people got it wrong, though, Jerry? Why? Because I think in the anime, and I could be dead wrong, see, like, that's his first crewmate right there, mm-hmm. right? But that's not the first crewmate he meets. He doesn't... I don't think he meets uh, Zoro first. I think he Maybe meets somebody a, else first. That's a hard question. I man. didn't even know his name was... What, what was it? Yuffie? Luffy. Oh, Luffy? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, isn't Yuffie a Final Fantasy character? Seven. I could be wrong about that, though. But I, I thought he met somebody else first, but they don't become a crewmate. They leave, and then he meets Zoro. He rescues Zoro, and Zoro becomes his first crewmate. Everybody's gone. The rapture. Dude, there's been a really big uh, thing, like, obsession with the rapture in a lot of media recently. Yeah. I haven't seen any. Well, I know there's recent, a movie they coming out, right? Redid, or, yeah, they're redoing that Left Behind movie with, yeah. I think, Nick Cage, isn't it? Oh, he's what? in every damn thing. <laughs> God is man. Not the bees. This one, what are you doing this? You know, everyone's just gone, and you just kind of walk around. Yeah, like literally, gone. that's how they explain the rapture in some of the, in these things, don't they? Like it's you and the rest of the sinners. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so it's just like, what am I gonna do now? You guys get all whatever I wanted to do before. Rape and pillage with all the things you guys did before the rapture. Wow. <laughs> now I get to play all the video games and no one tells me to stop. Yeah. <laughs> no one tells me to stop. <laughs> That's what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm play World of Warcraft and nobody around the gank. Magic of Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Magic of Two. What is this? You haven't played Magicka 1? Magicka seems like a pretty cool game. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. On the PS4? On the PS4? Each, each Damn foreign people. Terrible. Buttons, you have fire down your eggs, you have Burn everybody. Death yeah, they. it's one of those things um, that was on PC that was actually had its like niche group or whatever, and it was pretty fun. That Let It Die game was supposed to be like, looks pretty gruesome. Yes, Sorry, you exploded me. <laughs> uh, that's actually a really interesting question. What is the question? Uh, it says topic. Yeah, let me shut this thing up. This is a serious question. Wow. It's on Twitter? Yeah, it's on Twitter. Let me check it it's out. It's on the Twitticus. Uh, it says topic. Should game journalists write more about what's happening in France and how does slash could it pertain to gaming? Only if it does pertain to gaming. Yeah, I mean, usually when these things get tied together, it'll be like some idiot that's like, yeah, the reason they did it is because of video games. But yeah. this is pretty clear cut. They did pretty... it for a religious So Stan reason. Lee uh, could probably come in because it was a comic, I think, wasn't it? They yeah, drawing... it was like these web comics. They did like a naked Muhammad or something. Yeah, Stan Lee should comment on it. <laughs> I, I, He's a I comic would creator, only say right? that like, you know, throwing back to Unity, the, these French terrorists all had British accents. Did they? Wow. I was about to say. Good lord. Um, Nah, gaming should stay out of this. Yeah. Gaming should stay out of this. Yeah, it's a real world problem. I think, like, one of the awesome things about gaming, it gets tied to real life issues all the time, but... But we're the easiest thing to blame. So easy. Yeah, (laughs) and you kind of want to go to your video games to escape that kind of bull crap. Like, when you put down the video game and you look up any other news site, that's going to be what they're talking about. Sometimes I just want to know... What Zer has on Destiny on the weekend? <clears throat> you know, I don't need it to you be. You still tied play in. that? Hell yeah! Mm. <laughs> what game? <laughs> what a condes- Destiny? Oh. What a condescending yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna sign your guys' wall now. Is that yeah, okay? Sign the wall. Yeah, I'm sign signing it. Wall. You've been itching to sign it, haven't you? I've been yeah. <laughs> you know, there's something like in you when you write on a wall that like takes you back to childhood. You're like, oh my god, I'm not getting I'm, in trouble okay, for this. I'm thinking of putting um, chalkboard paint. On some of the wall in my kids' nursery. Oh hell yeah, do that. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, Anywhere you want. I don't know where to write and how to sign them. Wow, Shane Holden said number one. That's the first vote for number one. 
I don't know. When you move and then people see my full We're name here. paint over it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be like, good Dude. Lord. <laughs> Madison Mata. She tagged it she up. She said, I'm here. You know hey, what? Yo, I kind of think. This. I'm going to write my full last name. I kind of wish we all would have done it that big. Maybe I'll paint over ours and let us all wow. take a shot. Because that's going to pick up on the camera. <laughs> that is going to pick up on the camera. Yeah, but to Mark DeSanto's question, you know, we'll probably we might talk about it more on the weekday show. It's it's an interesting topic. Oh, I've been watching KSI as of lately. That's crazy. He just got eight million subscribers. What a jerk. Nah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Is he? He's from England. Oh damn, my phone's at one percent. Be safe out there. Yeah, we better end this thing. All right. 